Home selling prep, let's talk staging. There are many situations, in fact, I would say most situations when we're talking about a house that's completely vacant that I would recommend staging. And there are three main reasons why. The first reason is that it appeals to emotions. A, an empty house just feels cold. You, you just get the sense when you're walking in, it, it drives home the point that no one lives there, that it's not a home. And, and for some couples, it's hard to overcome that visualization in their mind. Even if they can't articulate it, it just doesn't feel right. When it's just empty and echoey, you're walking and talking, and it just doesn't sound or feel like a home. So staging overcomes that. It cr creates a warmth, if it's done right, it creates a warmth that helps overcome that and just feels better from an emotional standpoint while you're in the home. And every little bit you can do to appeal to buyers in any way you can is going to help your cause out. It's going to get you more positive feedback. It's going to get you more interested buyers. It's going to get you more contracts. And eventually it's going to get you more money when you uh, go to sell the home. Uh, so appealing to emotion is a major component of it. Uh, the second component is that it helps buyers visualize what can go in this space and what should go in this space. So buyers notoriously these days are, they just don't have the imagination to picture things within the space. It, as many buyers as I've worked with, when we're dealing with empty homes, it's up to me to really help them understand. I always bring a laser measure so I can measure things out and uh, if the, the time is there, I can do uh, graphic renderings and things like that because it's just so hard for a lot of buyers these days to visualize a space like, would my dining set fit in here? Would our living room set fit in here? This bedroom seems kind of small. Would our king size bed and nightstands fit in here? And without the reference uh, of all that furniture already in the space, those questions go unanswered. And when those questions go unanswered, uh, doubt fills that void. So that's never a good position that you want to be in on the seller side with having a lot of buyers that have a lot of doubts about things. You want to assuage every fear possible and helping them visualize what can fit in the space is one of them. And that second component is what should be in the space. There's many houses that have space in it, usually a den, a living space, some sort of flex space, that if there's no furniture in there, some buyers are left wondering, what could even go here? This seems like an awkward space. Could, could I fit a couch in here? Could I fit a, a table and chair in here? Is a, a small dining set supposed to go in here? But if you stage those areas, it helps them understand, again, not only what can go in that space, but what should goes in, go in that space. It gives the space purpose. The third thing is that the staged furniture, if done by a good staging company, which I'll get into in a minute, uh, will take attention off some minor imperfections. The reality is this, unless you have no company over, you have no children in the house, and you don't uh, heavily use the house at all, so it's pristine and it's kind of like a museum, your house has some imperfections. It's got some dings on the walls, it's got some scuffs here, it's got worn handles there, it's got maybe a crack here or there, maybe a tile is cracked, maybe there's a gap in the flooring here or there, maybe there's a baseboard that doesn't quite meet the flooring somewhere, maybe there's a wrinkle in the carpet. I can go on and on. Every house has these little imperfections. When the house is empty, that is what the eye is drawn to. And eyes are, our vision is drawn to things that stand out. And when there's no furniture in a space, it's the imperfections that stand out. Not all the good stuff in the home, not the perfect walls, those don't stand out. Our brain focuses in on that one crack, that one tile that's just a little bit off. Those are the things our eyes are drawn to when they don't have other things to occupy them. So when there's beautiful furniture, very clean, pristine uh, furniture that goes with the decor, artwork on the wall, things like that, y you focus on the furniture, you visualize you and your family in that furniture, in the space, 
and you're not worried so much about uh, are they going to fix that that one crack there out of the whole house there's one crack that'll stand out right so those are three main things that staging does and all of them are a great asset to you as a seller now let's talk about the stagers themselves it's very common for stagers to also be interior designers or interior decorators those two go hand in hand very well because to be a good stager you have to understand what furniture will go best not only in the space in terms of size but also in function but also in terms of does this furniture go with this house every house is a canvas it has its own palette it has its own theme and feel and the furniture needs to accent that it needs to work cohesively in that space and a good stager has that eye for design and they instantly can see a space and know the right furniture to go in there that will not only be cohesive within that palette but will also look nice in photos and when buyers are there and they add the little details the accent pieces the throw pillows the blankets the right artwork and you know all the the fake plants that just give that little bit of extra pop of color and homely feel so when you are looking for stagers it's important not just to make the decision to stage but also to pick the right stager and seeing what they've done in the past looking at properties that they've staged recently and being able to see how those photos look is really going to help you make a dis uh, determination on what the best stager is for you ultimately you need to do your homework to get the right real estate agent a good agent not only knows which house to stage where it's going to give you the return that you're expecting because staging is not cheap usually you're starting out at around two grand for a very basic staging uh, setup but um, that agent knows that agent knows when to stage what rooms to stage and which stagers to get that'll work with that house in that space so do your homework not only on your stager but also on your realtor and everything else will go smoothly